All right, here is your disclaimer before we actually get into the video. If you are sensitive to language for your young ears, you might want to exit the room, turn the video off, and leave. This is going to be a rambling hissy fit video about me talking about the Mopar community and its destruction, its implosion. But this is going to be an adult conversation, so you have been warned. <laughs> what's up guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to talk about something that i think is effing stupid all right it's it's a little silly it's getting out of hand and i just want to kind of give my my thoughts on this whole thing and this is not to produce the same content as everybody else because i'm going to actually talk about stuff a little bit different and just give you some things to think about and that is, of course, the Mopar community and it basically imploding on itself. And being a Mustang guy, having owned a Mopar before, you know, we did have a Hellcat, I think it's just comical, funny, and stupid. So here lately, if you guys are not familiar and you don't know what I'm talking about, it kind of all started when uh, a certain particular YouTuber's Hellcat burned to the ground, you know who he is. And then the fiasco that followed with that, um, and now, Paul, family cruising, he's a, he's a great guy. I've met him. He's an awesome dude. I'm really, really sad to see what happened to him and his channel being taken down, all of that stuff. Like, I couldn't even imagine that happening to me. I mean, I don't know what I would do, but my heart really does go out to him. But um, anyway, it kind of seemed to, like it started around then. Um, YouTubers getting... Dodge YouTubers getting arrested for, for stupid shit. And then you got Tall Guy getting arrested. And, you know, we all we only see one side of the story. And now here's the thing. This is why this shit's important. I'm not saying anybody's a liar, but I am saying that there is magic in editing. I can screw up a video, which I do every single one of them. Um, you know, some, some of my intros, some, some like one sentence things that I'll say, I'll fuck it up like seven times you know but I can edit that stuff together so we see what we see you know we're watching other people other other uh, YouTube channels and for the most part people are honest and they want you know to give you like like me I'm, I'm very open you guys know that I'm very honest and I like for everybody to see kind of how things go but you know certain people getting arrested is there more to the story than what we're actually seeing online? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. You know, you're only getting a piece. It's just like media. It's like anything in, in you know, media uh, uh, out there. CNN, Fox News, who gives a shit? Um, they're going to cover it their way, and you're not going to get a full, accurate story. That's also why you should probably reference like three different sources or so on like one particular topic when it comes to, like media and stuff like that. But as far as the YouTube thing goes all of that kind of has branched off onto this this wild tangent thing with the Mopar it's not affecting Mustangs kind of it well it wasn't until now basically what has happened is without being a dead horse tall guy car reviews has come out who has, has a massive following uh, he doesn't race his Hellcat he doesn't do any of that stuff he doesn't really I mean he shows mods and stuff like that but he's I think that his channel is more kind of vlog like uh, around his life and cars are kind of like a part of it and that's completely fine and I like that but, the, but recently he came on and he made a video about uh, this this whole 499 subscription thing and it's a join button um, basically once you reach an X amount of subs uh, that you can have people opt in kind of like a patreon now I have a patreon too and I you know, if you want to support me, send me money. It all goes back to the channel. I've said that multiple times. You guys are welcome to do that. One-time donations, all of that stuff. It's happened before several times, and I'm very appreciative. And generally, I'll call those people out on, like, the next video or so and say thank you. Um, but that's not something that I cram down your throat. And this whole 499 thing, he basically said that anybody's not real. You're not real G-Squad. So, um, he's not going to reply to you in his comments unless you give him five dollars a month and now i th think that it's completely justified to have that join option and if you want to spend your money uh contributing to somebody to a youtube channel that you'd like i you know it's kind of like tips or you know something like that i think that that's totally fine 
I mean, shit, you pay for cable, don't you? Well, maybe not anymore, but like UTV, YouTube, t you, I can't see, I can't speak either. YouTube TV or Netflix or any of those, you pay a subscription to watch content. Um, now, yes, you can still watch all of like his content for free. It just takes a little bit of your time to do that. But, but like he said, if you want to see like the extra stuff, you know, you got to pay for it. And I think that that's okay. But what I don't think is okay is for him to alienate his his uh, the people that made him famous, right? By saying that he's not going to comment to anybody. But then he, you know, he did come back and he followed up with um, some other videos saying he was sorry, but basically fuck you and all this other shit. And uh, I think it was just dumb. <clears throat> I don't think it was a heartfelt apology. I think that uh, I'm probably not gonna watch his content anymore, but it's, I'm free to do what I want. But anyway, what happened is, um, Destroyer Gray Productions, uh, who is, you know, he's a smaller channel like I am, but he is making a name for himself here recently, and his sub growth is really taken off, um, because he's, you know, some, it's like on YouTube, you find a niche, and then once you, once you found it, and it's, it's a good niche and there's a demand for it, you, you like just drive into it, right? Well, that's what he's done and he started calling out some other YouTubers. He called out MotorTube, which is, uh, <laughs> but um, then he called out Corey, Tall Car Guy Reviews. I can barely say that word. Like, bleh, bleh, bleh. Tall Car, tall car Guy, say that like four times fast. Um, anyway. So what has happened now is this whole thing has started and is turned into a like a war, and uh, amongst the, the, the Mokbar community now, 86 Face is a YouTube channel. He's fired back, and now he's talking and giving his opinion on this whole thing, and it's it's all fine and dandy when you're really just talking, you know, back and forth. And you have a little beef, and a little beef can be a good thing, but <laughs> this has actually turned into. Um, like threats against like their like fam people's lives are like brought into this now like details about their lives like where they live the states they live in their families all that stuff it's getting a little out of hand now I will say that the Mopar community and I know this from personal experience is that it's a little bit more of a cult following I think you really kind of have to like um, do certain things a certain way where we really get frowned upon, I think. People expect certain things from, you know, in the Dodge community. And that's vastly different than, um, I'm, so I'm driving around making this video and I have no idea where I am. I have not a clue. I've never been to this part of the, the town at all. <laughs> so this is, if you haven't caught on, this is not a professional, you know, review of any kind. This is not the great kind. This is me talking and just getting my opinion out there. So it's going to be language heavy. I'm sorry. Um, it is what it is. So anyway, like I was saying, if you have a Dodge Challenger, Charger, whatever, you, I think, are really kind of supposed to do things a certain way. That's what their audience kind of thinks anyway. That's, that's, uh, that's what other YouTubers... That's the, you know, demand of, of these. The thing is, it's YouTube. It's you. Um, you. You can do whatever you want on your channel. That's kind of the, the whole thing. If I want to do uh, car reviews and if I want to do log, vlog lifestyle stuff, if I want to do reviews on uh, the best hair color on a Barbie doll, I mean, I should be able to do that all on the same channel if I want to. It doesn't matter. Because it's 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 YouTube, it's my tube, it's my channel. I can do it. I, I have the freedom to make it great. And I have the freedom to crush it and, and delete the whole channel if I want to, you know. But um, whatever. But the, anyway, so the, the Mustang community is vastly different than the Dodge community, and you guys mostly know that. You know, if I if I want to, you know, wrap my my Mustang or do a mod that uh, a lot of people don't like. I mean, I'm I'm completely welcome to do that. You know, but you're, I don't get it. You wouldn't get as much hate, like with the Dodge guys. Like if, if you aren't building it a certain way, you were kind of hated on. Uh, if, it's just, it's stupid. It's it's like high school girl drama shit. And uh, that's one reason why. Now, anybody that owns a Dodge and is watching this, feel free to comment. But 
you guys keep, keep in mind you guys can also see those other channels yes not the entire community is like that I'm not saying fucking everybody is it's really because YouTube and YouTubers are kind of inspirational. A lot of people watch us, you know, thousands if not millions sometimes. You know, like we could put a video out that makes uh, 150 views or a million. It just depends on how it affects the algorithm and how it spreads. Really, things don't spread unless you hit the thumbs up or thumbs down button. You have to interact with the video in some way and then the, the videos will take off. So if you like, if you have a favorite YouTuber, um, like I hope, hopefully, some of you, at least some of you guys like me a little bit, just a little bit. Um, you have to interact with the video somehow. But anyway, I think that it's it's kind of a stupid thing. Now, Michael Mack talked about it in a live stream. He talked about dirty views because it's it's a fiery topic. Everybody's going to click on it because everybody wants to see beef, right? Because human beings, honestly, if you if you sit back and you look at history, are violent, violent. <laughs> They like to kill each other. The Romans used to have the gladiators and, you know, all that stuff. You know, they used to just do it for the fun of it. There wasn't, you know, movies back then. You didn't go to your movie theater. You wanted to go see people get their heads chopped off in, in the stadiums. And that's just the way that it, it, history is violent. We all know that as humans. That's why there's a war every, like, 20 years. Um, look at uh, Afghanistan right now. That's been going on since 2001. And it's 2019 now. So, 18 years. I mean, crazy. But I think that a lot of these guys really just need to maybe just knock it off a little bit because I like to keep things real. I like to pass a positive influence on onto my viewers, uh, especially when it comes to the 1819 Mustang because everybody wants to talk trash about it. And I love this car and I want it to I want it to succeed. So you guys know that I will keep things real, and I just want to say that I hope that these guys will find some peace and some middle ground and just kind of knock it off a little bit. You know, making content. Now I support everything that they do. If, if you guys that I'm, I'm bringing up are watching this, uh, the other YouTubers that I've named, I support you. Believe me, I'm, I am a YouTuber too. I know I know how the grind is. Um, you know, like Destroy Guard Productions is a veteran. So am I. You see, you see the shirt. But all I'm saying is just be careful, okay? Because you're gonna, you could piss off somebody that's a lot. But everybody has friends, right? And that's the thing about social media is everybody is connected in some way that's all I'm gonna say some of these guys are probably not the most pleasant people in person <clears throat> I will say for me I'm just a regular dude that I make videos and hopefully people like it and uh, I'm just like you I'm an enthusiast I have a passion and I, that's why I make videos I want to be able to share my passion and this is how I know how to do that but some people get on here and they really let it go to their heads and some people are Going to get butt hurt, and uh, you know, especially when you're calling out like names, states, addresses, you know, all that. Uh, things get a little bit more personal. Just be careful. Just really be careful. Good, you know, beef is one thing. Like the the Mustang community, like nitpicks at each other. You know, they just nitpick. But we all have you know pretty thick skin generally, and we all know that it's in good fun. You know, hey, my car's faster than yours. Blah blah blah. Enjoy your cars. Quit talking shit. Um, you know, do, do what you do on your channel. I mean, I, again, I support you. I'm kind of like halfway. I'm like middle ground here. Um, you know, I don't want... I hate seeing the same content every... Like, I think that Michael Mack actually said it right. Dirty views. But, you know, again, if there's a niche and there's a demand for it, push content. That's, that's how things go. So, I'm kind of like this. But I'm just going to say be careful careful tread tread lightly because you might be kicking a hornet's nest i still have not a clue where i am damn that's a big ass house that's a big mother